Hello and welcome to today's video in which we are going to look at one of the most important features and one of the features I actually use the most. Um, but a lot of people actually do not and I personally think that is a mistake. Um, I have accumulated, so there's more and more stuff here in my program, right? I, I've used this program for the last three weeks, probably adding a new PLC every now and then, changing the programs here and there. Uh, and what I do is always I just save the project, right? And now I have this one folder that has all the project in there. Um, what would be better would be to make it, to push it in an archive, to put it on a server so I have different... Um, different states of the same pro uh, program saved and I can at any given point in time I can actually uh, retrieve one of those status right uh, so I could for example every week every Friday when you finish work you could make one new archive with the complete program so that is saved forever push that maybe on a server push it on your network drive push it on your OneDrive wherever it's saved forever and if you lose your program for any reason like you make error or you make errors right um, you still have this archive project on the uh, on the cloud or on your hard drive on your server wherever right so it's actually a very important feature for for um, creating program backups uh, what I'm talking about is archiving so I have my project here with a lot of stuff I could save and then it's this one folder, but I want to do project and there's a button archive dot dot dot, right? Project archive. Now this prompt asks me, um, what do you want to do, right? Which project do you want to archive? The um, project we've got open here is automatically selected, so no need to change that. Down here we have some settings for the output of the archiving. Uh, settings for archiving. Archive as compressed file, that's good. If you just make it archive and not as a compressed file, you will just basically copy and paste the folder that you have. So you could also manually copy and paste. I don't think that's really necessary. Uh, I want this archive as a compressed file. And you see, we now have the ending here, zep15 underscore one, because I have 15.1, that's my TR version. If you have version 14, it will be a zep14. If you have version 13, it will be zep13. If you have version 13 service pack two, it will be zep13 underscore two and so on. Right, so it will only be one file. Also, very good with this is you can send this one file per email. Right, you can send it out. You can put it as attachment on an email and send it to a colleague or so. Very good. Um, this card reads storable data. I don't like that. If you do that, the archive will be a little bit smaller, but you are not guaranteed anymore that everything works. I mean, it's still guaranteed, but I'm always afraid that some of this restorable data actually could break my archive so i'll just leave it active i don't need that little space i mean it's just it spares it saves maybe a second and a couple of kilobyte nah I'll, I'll leave that um add date and time to the target name this is now automatically adding the date of today and the time to the name of the archive right so right now my desktop is empty as you can see and what i will do project archive at time and date i will archive my whole project right this is now saving all this stuff see i can now change everything i can continue working or i can go into weekend or so it's all saved in this one file in this one file and you see it's the name of the project that i have given it's 2019 and september 30th that's today and 1954 that is the time right so all my project is actually in here so if I close my project now and oh no, I accidentally uh, somehow broke it, right? I will delete it now. So my project is deleted, it's gone, right? It's lost, everything is bad, right? Oh, I am so lucky I have an archived file. I could have 10, 20, right? I could have a lot. I only have this one, which I can now retrieve actually because my project is broken. It doesn't work anymore, it's gone. So I can retrieve. I just have to search on my desktop uh, for the name. I named it YouTube underscore date and time. I hit OK. Now it's asking me where do you want to save it. Right? I have a new folder on my desktop. Desktop, new folder, new folder. I want to save it here. Now it's unpacking that file. Right? It's unpacking that file. It 
it's all out of the archive now and you see my whole project is still here right even if i delete something or if if i change anything here it won't change my archive that i have right i could now make changes right for example hey this should actually go in here and i want to rename this thing hello and i can save the project i have made some progress and i can make a new project archive yeah the same settings they are still active archive i will have a second project status saved in this file here on my desktop right and i can at any point in time retrieve those you could of course give them better names save them on a server and so on and so on I'm not going to do here uh yeah very important feature that everyone should use at least every once in a while uh and as I said, very important if you want to send this per mail or so, easy. Just put that as an attachment. All right. If you've got any questions, any comments, just leave them in the comments below. Um, if this helps you a little bit, which it, if you were not familiar with this feature, it definitely helps because it's such an important feature. Um, if you already knew the feature and you're not using it, you should. <laughs> So, um, yeah, if you like uh, it and it helps, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.